Welcome. I'm going to spend a few minutes going over uh, some of the symbols on a floor plan. Uh, symbols on the plan, uh, some of them look exactly like they uh, represent, others maybe not so much. So I'm going to go over this particular drawing. This drawing um, is a simple floor plan of a house, and I'll zoom in and go over some of them. So the wall, going around the outside of the house, you have two lines here, those running parallel to each other, those represent the walls in the house, interior wall and exterior walls. Windows, this would represent a window, marks off the length of the window, line down the middle, could be two, and that represents a window. So a square bay window, the wall sticks out, comes across and down, this is the window symbol, that would be a square bay window. Plumbing vent, inside the wall, if you have a little circle like this one, that represents a plumbing vent. That allows gases in the plumbing system to escape so they don't build up and come up through the toilet. Closet, CL or CLO will represent a closet. So this space here for this master bedroom, this would be a closet, this would also be a closet. Bifold door, uh, closet doors that fold open and close. Looks like a little triangle, kind of looks like a bifold door. So that one's pretty straightforward. Sink. In the kitchen area, this is the sink symbol or something similar to it. Maybe a little bit different, maybe not quite as detailed, but that would be the sink in the, in the kitchen. Refrigerator basically is a box with either an R or an REF, uh, represents refrigerator. Oven, a box with the letter O would represent an oven. That would be a built-in oven that's in the wall. It doesn't have a cooktop on it, just the oven itself for baking. Telephone jack. A uh, little triangle pointing at the wall. That represents a telephone jack where you would plug a landline in uh, for a telephone, if of you, any of you even have those. Interior wall, two lines running parallel to each other, typically four to five inches wide or thick would be the wall. Convenience outlet, not a great symbol, basically a circle with two lines going through it. That would be an outlet. That's where you plug things in. So another outlet here, another outlet here and so on going around the room. Each of the rooms will have multiple outlets. Smoke detector, circle with an SD, that represents a smoke detector in the house. Uh, modern construction um, need to have smoke detect detectors in most or if not all of the rooms. Let's scroll out and let's go back in down here. Uh, and I missed, so let's try it this way. There we go, a little better. Lavatory, fancy word for a sink. So in the bathroom, bath, this would be the lab lavatory or sink in the uh, bathroom. Water closet, fancy name for a toilet. John, um, Hooper, whatever you want to call it. Keep it appropriate for school though. So it's a toilet, uh, looks like a toilet. Bathtub, looks like a bathtub, symbol in the bathroom. Sliding doors, so here's another closet. Sliding doors would look like this. They look like they slide past each other. Standard window, uh, blocking off the length of the window, a line or two going through the wall. Ground fault interrupt, that would be an outlet symbol, a circle with two lines, and then the letters GFI next to it for ground fault interrupt. Those are the ones with the test and reset buttons on them that you find in bathrooms and kitchens. And Exterior lights, a couple little triangles on the outside of the house would represent exterior lights, and then a compass. Most drawings will have a compass on them someplace showing which way is north. Although on a floor plan, you wouldn't necessarily have that. Other side, sliding doors. A couple lines, they look like they're sliding doors, sliding past each other. Exterior walls, so these would be exterior sliding doors going out onto a porch or a deck. Cooktop or a stove. Uh, this is a little more detailed. Oftentimes it's just a square with four or five little circles in it that would represent a stove or a cook stop top with the burners um, for cooking. Floor cabinet. This space between that line and this wall, that is the floor cabinet. That's your base cabinet, your countertop in that space. Wall cabinet. This space here would be the wall cabinet, the dash line. Uh, represents the wall cabinet. So these are the cabinets up on the walls that you could put things in. This would be your countertop and the cabinets down underneath. Three-way switch, S with the letter three next to it, three-way switch. 
That would be found typically in hallways or a stairway where you have two switches or more that are going to control one or more uh, lights. Ceiling light fixture, a circle with four little lines around the outside that represents a ceiling light. So that could be a chandelier. It could be a dome type light, basically some type of light that's permanently installed. Uh, temporary things, portable things like a light sitting on a desk, those typically would not be placed into a floor plan. A switch, letter S with a dash line, that represents the wire that goes from the switch to that particular light. So that's instructing people on which light switches are going to control uh, which out lights. Archway uh, looks like a wall, except it's dash lines. So that would be an archway, kind of like a doorway, except there's no door in it. It's just uh, an arch. Linen closet labeled as LIN um, for putting linens and the like in. Let's zoom back out and move down here. Look at that. Room descriptor. On the floor plan, uh, there will be descriptors that tell us which room is which. So this is the living room, uh, kitchen. Hey, that's cool. Uh, living room, uh, dining room up here, kitchen over here. So each room will have a descriptor. This entire thing is the fireplace inside the house. The flue, this black box, that's the uh, opening in the, chim in the fireplace or the chimney that allows the smoke to go up through. This symbol, the diagonal lines, common brick, that would be brick around the outside. Fire brick is similar, except the lines are closer together. Uh, higher rated brick that can handle the heat from the fire. And then the hearth sitting on the front. This symbol here, flagstone entry. There are different symbols for different types of materials. So that's an example of a flagstone floor in the entryway. Exterior wall, two lines running parallel to each other. Uh, typically in Maine, exterior wall is gonna be six inches, although uh, there are other construction techniques that allow you to have uh, wider, thicker walls. Porch railing, this is the porch on the front of the house. Uh, two lines running parallel, closer together, that would be the railing. And then an angled bay window sticking out on the front of the house. Uh, when you're looking at a drawing like this, the bottom of the drawing is considerably considered typically the front of the house. Top of the drawing would be the back of the house. So there you go. Quick little introduction to uh, some of the symbols found on a floor plan.